it's also connected with some with Rosh Hashanah, but discussing the past few weeks, you know, of the Bittal HaYetzel Hara, the removal of the Yetzel Hara when Mashiach will come. Now, I'm talking about the removal of the Yetzel Hara when Mashiach will come. Like I mentioned, there's a number of different ways of looking at it. Side is the Indian that then a person will have the Koyach to be miscabbed over the Yetzel Hara, that the Yetzel Hara won't be such a lave heaven, it won't be a heart of stone, it will be a heart of meat, uh, that meat is bendable. It's also the concept of the Ebisho will shach the Yetzir Hara, the Ebisho will take away the Yetzir Hara, it will be turned over to good. Um, there is also, I just would mention, there is also in uh, different Svarim, it speaks about that when you say the word Yetzir Hara, what exactly are you referring to? So, there is the way some of Svartim explain is that there is, there's, the Yetzirah is sometimes understood as a human condition, so to say. The person has natural inclination. Certain Yetzirah leva Adam, a certain way they actually created the person, you know, that he has his own, his instincts. And then there is, from other Mechaitis, is Mashim, the Yetzirah is, it's more of a spiritual source, like Kaldara Hamalach or something that is that is uh, that has a certain power, even greater than the person himself. That if not for the Abish's help, says Amali Uzray, ain't a yachale. If not for the Abish's help, we won't be able to overcome him. So I don't want to get into this, you know, we the the main uh we always understand it's at Hadar more as a part of the of Nefesh Bahamas, it's, it's the Midas of Nefesh Bahamas, whatever it is. Fidik is actually a mime who described the new of the Yetzir Hodas, the Koya Hatsir, the Yetzir Hodas, like somebody puts it as like the pop ups. You know, there's the Nefesh Bahamas, is the actual. It's a Nefesh Bahamas, he likes to eat, he likes physical pleasure, but he's not going to every second run after a Taiva. The Yetzir Hara is more like it, his, what he does is he throws into the person's siyurim images of physical pleasures to try to like catch his attention to get him to do something. So uh, in today's internet, you know, you would call it a pop-up. You know, you're not expecting it all of a sudden. That's more the Yetzir Hara. That's what Yetzir Hara is more, is, is more harder. It's, I mean, it's very different than Nefesh Bahamas. Nefesh Bahamas you could deal with to some extent. The Yetzir Hara is more, you know, it's like trying to Left field. Left field. Yeah, out of left field, exactly. So. that the whole Hasabas of world is only through Dibur. So the Al says, the Al explains what what is. Uh, that the Dibur is. The Al-Tarab says over there that. that then the person falls on the hapsa right, yeah, yeah. it, 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 it is, but there is, it is, there is already it, because b'keiach chachme and seichel yeah, and, and yidi he has it. Right. It's just dormant, like sort of. It's right. there. Right. Right. And, and that one you see, it, yeah. And that becomes which seichel. In in the person knows this type. The one that the other is just a limb at chachme, chachme diva, a gishnake eat food. The person knows before he actually had the title to it, it's there. But the only thing, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, cut, didn't actually, it didn't come out of the It was a desire, it didn't fall into his heart to actually do it. Ach, so. Ach, 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 he knows of that existence, so it's, but it's not there. But when it comes to the mind, it flashes, and he starts thinking about it and developing it, and then how do actually... The We spoke maybe a little before. But what says, there, there won't be too many, there won't be bad, but it's always going to be there. No, see, of course it's not going to be there. Of course it's not going to be there. So now, so some of Farshim explained is actually two opposite Pirushim I've seen. When you speak about the Bittal Yetzir Hara, Allah Salava, at least maybe I guess in the first period, they say that it's not re- it's referring to, some explain that it's referring to this Malach. In other words, 
there's a certain Fabishir, there's a certain Koyach that the Yetzirah, so to say, has that is stronger than a person. So that Yetzirah, which is more outside of the person, quote unquote, whatever that means, will be taken away. But the natural Yetzirah that a person has, that's much more controllable. If a person is given the proper means to know how to deal with it, that will remain when Mashiach will come. And therefore, the Utah could be an avoid still. And it also, depending on which kufa we're talking about, obviously, but at least in the first kufa, there'll still be an avoida to, you know, it'll be, it won't, won't be such a struggle because it won't be something which is outside of you. It's something which is more powerful than you. Then I saw others from say, Pum Krak, but if they said, oh, they'll be outside the Roman Union, so it'll be taken away. But Bukhala from Israel, I'm bringing this out, is I, I just think when you speak about it in, 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 in simple terms, when you're talking about today, people speak about the Yetzirah, it sometimes sounds like some elusive type of creature that's stopping you from doing Tayyid and Mitzvahs. Well, let's say you'll tell the person that when Mashiach will come, there won't be a Yetzirah. How, you have to also bring it down into Pashita terms. So in today, when you ask, when today, if you won't use the term Yetzirah, you'll ask a person, Vos what exactly are the Minis V'yikuvim for keeping Tayyid and Mitzvahs? that stop a person from doing Tayyidah Mitzvahs. So with that cloud, there's... We always know that Golos is what? The, the Goyim didn't let you do Tayyidah Mitzvahs. There was, you know, there was, you know, the Gzeda Sashmad and the Gemara, the Romans, the Greeks, Chol of Achum. In Samu Achum, Ella. Right, but today we're living in Axis Aravacha, today we're living in, 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 in the democracy, so to say. So today, the, the, if you person focuses, it's also not that simple. Huh? Whatever, it's also Kariyach. not that simple. Right, Kveach. But I'm saying, in other words, the Gashmi is zicher is easier. Right. No, no, come on, come on. I'm saying, in other words, so, so person thinks about it. There's the Minis and the Kuvim Teira Mitzvahs are on really on many different fronts. There are many people that, for whatever reason, you know, at some point in life, they uh, they felt that they can't continue, you know, keeping Teira Mitzvahs. So. There's, ma there's m many, many issues, but some, there's, there's a number of issues. First of all, I mean, the, the, there's different people have different experiences that turn them off for whatever reason. But one of the main akudas here is, is that Toyota Mitzvah doesn't come natural to a person. I have a lot of people, love that because they're turned off in today's day and age with Frat, they just don't see what is relevant in their life. Why should I put on film? Not sure they don't oh. have something against it, they don't believe in it. I just don't feel it has any shaykhs to me. It was like... Why should I wake up today and put on tefillin? Why you should go and then eat breakfast and that I can understand. So it's it's a certain it's a, and, and and then kamuvan there's so 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 here to use the word yetzerar kamuvan is the yetzerar but it's also important to use to use use human human understanding of of there's a number there's, there's, there's today there's, there's first of all social pressure is a very big issue kamuvan. That we spoke many times about this. Negeshi v'nei amaligim that our Nisoyim is not being affected by people that laugh at us. It doesn't have to mean people are outright laughing at you, but um, I don't know. I don't Satan on Hashem told the mice he was in Kfar Chabad one shabb. Mr. Nando Futafas called him over, and he was up saying he was you know exactly how he said it. But the point he was saying is sometimes a person Farveltzachem he wants to daven Barichas one Shabbos. Just what? Just people around him are going to start saying, oh, you became a David. <laughs> so he says, that's how I gave a ship name, Aligim, what's the Aligim? Aligim is the guy in the street, that's like, the, you, know, you don't care what he said. Aligim are your own friends, and say, so are you becoming more religious than you were before? But anyway, the Rebbe spoke a lot of times, the trade is Pashat, there's the Aligim, there's a social pressure, so... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm yeah. talking to myself. I, I'm, I'm very. I'm, I'm, something, something that I'm trying hard to, to live and to understand in a, in a penetrating way, way to, to feel it is the importance of Bias Mashiach in the Shlem What's so. What's, why is that the. What's that the zenith? The That's the, it's one of the nequitas that I. I mean, uh, it, what I'm going to say today is. I don't is understand. One more second. You're a Tamil Chacham. You're making fun of the person? I'm talking to... One second, the majority of Torah cannot be fulfilled now. So why is that... Why is it not good? I, I'm happy Mashiach should come that, that Yidin should be to not suffer. Not shlemis ha-teira that... that so you're not going to understand. There's two shilas. One shilas is... 
there's two, there's two things you're discussing which are very different. One point is, why should... One thing is, why do I need Mashiach? Why Shalem Zal Tehra Mitzvah depend on Mashiach? Let's push the answer, why Shalem Zal Mitzvah depend on Mashiach. Child is, why I should want Mashiach? Yes, that's, that's the importance of it. So that's that the Rebbe said, Eno Chanami. There, the Rebbe clearly says that for most Yidin, the Rebbe in the, in this, has this famous Yidin Chayel Eklam at Ches, and Chayel Eklam at Zayin, you know, about Yudim Gashim. Yeah. The Rebbe says that for most Yidin today, they're not going to be inspired to want Mashiach only exclusively because of spiritual... But for that, Alaniel's deity, the answer is it doesn't come overnight. If a person should want Mashiach, that's because of the spiritual, that's because of the Ruchnis, the Kamilas. Of course, 100%, 100%. But that, the Gashmis, the Gashmis, the Kamilas. That or some people have say they don't they don't feel a need for Mashiach in their personal life they don't have any problems that's not from the Mashiach. No, fine. I'm saying with our such people we have we have fine. I'm saying so 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 for that it's, it's I don't think it's overnight process. Yeah, there's a safer quote Shevet Musar. I don't know if yeah. it, so he writes there. He's quoted. He writes there. And I think it's Perek Nanalaf. He writes that in order to attack a desire Mashiach. For the, you know, you push it, in other words, for the ruchni stick, I think you have to sit and learn it. It's not an overnight type of thing. You know, you have to, you have to, like the Rebbe says, love him with Meshech, to learn Yonagol Meshech, to live with Meshech. Well, the Rebbe wants that that should be the Nekudah. Ain't no chanami, ain't no The Rebbe is not chill, the Rebbe acknowledges mm-hmm. very outright that you can't, the Rebbe also has a Sicha, like uh, the one Rambam says, the Rebbe says that all the Yidin and the Vim and the Chacham desired Mashiach that should be able to fill Tehra Mitzvahs peacefully. And the Chacham Mulachim, the Rambam writes, Loi Nisabu HaChacham and Vanivim Reis Mashiach, that the wise men and the Nevi'im, the prophets, they didn't want Mashiach, not for physical pleasures, only for they should be able to learn Tehra, you know, be pluim, Tehra HaChamas, have free time to learn Tehra and delve into its wisdom. So the Rebbe says, why here the Rambam says that all Jews wanted it for this reason? He says only the Nevi'im and the Chacham. So the Rebbe says, in different sikhs, the Rebbe is a different view, but in this sikha, the Rebbe says like this. In Hilch is true, but the Rambam is not speaking about that this is the only reason you should want Mashiach. The Rambam says, doesn't say they didn't want Mashiach only for this reason. The Rambam says, this is why they want Mashiach. It could mean you want Mashiach for another reason as well. So to want Mashiach for the Shlemus of Tehra Mitzvah, they able to enter Tehra Mitzvah peacefully, every Jew is ready to do that. But that every Jew, but that it should be that that's the only reason why I want Lame Mashiach. Time. Whereas, like in Hilchas Mulak, and Rambam writes it in a negative that they only they didn't want it for any other reason, only for this. That oh, you have to be a chacham and a navi for. But that every Jew bets and wants Mashiach for Torah mitzvahs. That is not a stira. It's not a contradiction to wanting Mashiach for physical things. You can want it for physical things. You can want it for ruchni sticker things as well. Anyway, B'chol, if you're getting back to the thing at hand, so today when you talk about the musig. Marshal, there's a sikh of the Rebbe. The Rebbe says that the inning of mitzvah, which is tafs of the Hebrew, connected with the inner idea of a mitzvah, of connection with Hashem, will be b'shleimus in Yemei Sa Mashiach. So today when we do a mitzvah, soft call soft, it's not necessarily as real to us as, you know, like Chassidus explains a lot, and what you know what comes to mind right away is the famous Maimur Azal of Yechem and Zakai said that... Um, that he wrote in Shemir Yisrael Malachim Kamei Rebosar V'dam. He says that before he passed away, he said, "Tell me the master for a bracha." He says, "No, my bracha is a You should be afraid of the Eibush, like you're afraid of human being." <laughs> so Talmidim says, "Rabbi, this is this is your blessing." So he says, it's "Not a small thing." Pay the Alter Rebbe calls him Tanya for the Kamal from the days. Alter Rebbe speaks about. It. He says, "You should know when a person does an Aveda, he says, I don't want anyone to see me.'" So if a, you don't want anyone to see you, it doesn't bother the Ebesh will see you. Why? Because the Ebesh is watching you is not real. There's a story from the event that the Vilna 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 and he and I said, and he started sleeping. But my Rebbe, and he said, what do you mean? The Eibush that hears me, I don't care. I mean, of course, the Rebbe, you care. The Rebbe opened the door, says, yeah, the Rebbe, the Eibush that can say what's on him. Ich, but the Rebbe is a is a boss of the dumb. Can't say what's on him. It's hell of a trap. Yeah. So, so, 
and this is the idea that what the Tzad is saying, but you don't care because Eibish can say, you know that Eibish can say, well, you're right. Yes, because you're not even from Eibish can say, well, he's kill Yochel, but the human being can be saved. But anyway, but you have so this is, it speaks a lot about this in the Kud in various forms. But I'm just bringing out in a very simple form that in, in today's day and age, Eilam is repshitus on the Kud's pischachas. The simple reality is the world. Eibush, the godliness, you know, we know it's true, we believe it, but it's not as natural to us as physical need. When Mashiach will come, then it will be the other way around. It will be Elokus, Pepshidus, Nelumis, Pishachis. Godliness will be straightforward. You'll see, it says, when you want to cut a fig on tree on Shabbos, the tree is going to scream, the fig is going to scream, Shabbos today, you can't cut me. And the Rebbe says the same way even an animal won't want to put its hand into fire, because it has a natural instinct of self, uh, of safety, you know, self-preservation. So to a person who wouldn't do an Aveda naturally. So there's a certain Muslim, it's hard for us to understand and relate to, but this says the, 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 the head, the realization that godliness is the reality of the world. Tehra Mitzvah is the ultimate good that there is in the world. And the Chulu, the Chulu, that today, that in today's day and age, we did a lot of disturbances, so to say, from Tehra Mitzvah come from the person's own what you could call Yetzir Hara, but you know, to, to deal with the problem in more human terms is that they could have questions, they could have emotional struggles, intellectual struggles, or just to add some Nakuda. I, my life, I don't think is necessarily needs Tayyid Mitzvah, it's connected with Tayyid Mitzvah, you know, it, 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 don't, it doesn't come naturally to me. So a lot of people in today's day and age, it's, it's something that they, so, so when Mashiach will come, that is one of the things Mashiach will rectify. There will be an oifen that it will be, it will be, it will be decide how it's going to happen. It could be two ways. It could be one on a first, first on an intellectual basis. In other words, it will be a understanding of uh, understanding the reality of Torah mitzvahs, what it really is, how it really connects with Eibush and how it's real. And then as Chassidus says, we see the Russian of Yehuda called Paul Captain Paalte. See this speaks a lot. Lots of loving. It says people will run from Chilis Surah and they're going to run into the clefts of rocks because of the mean. fear of Hashem. In other words, it will be so real that it's going to be a poshut begashmi se'ema or pachad. It's like it's like it's like like you're going to actually feel someone standing and watching you. Like it, it's so. The day is just poshut. Could it be? I'm just saying as as the Ra is going to be so open that a person what the Yitzhakora tells you again at itreif. <laughs> you see it's strafe, you see it's bad, you see it hurts you. Right. It's like, it's only it's a horror, but it's a horror won't be able to affect, because right. Right. the Ra is going to be so begolly. Right, so in other words, That's based true. on what I'm saying, you could say, that, I mean, it, it also says it's a horror will be taken away completely, but based on what you're saying, in other words, even if there would be a horror, a person won't, won't, uh, a person will realize that it's the same way the natural natural things that are that are that, that, that are hazards that a person will never do unless he goes insane because he realizes that it's not good for him. So lots of love. Now there are many things you know. You have mention of unkashes of an Yeah, why the is this? Why the did that? The face. So so lots of love. You also want to have the achmen. I'm just saying from every side and angle. Lots of love. It says it Hashem can have to be. So the Mashiach will come, will understand that everything Nebuchadnezzar should did was really good. In other words, then, in every aspect, today, people have tiny stuff in Nebuchadnezzar. They don't want to do it, put on film. When Mashiach will come, we won't have this problem, because you'll see openly that that was done for good. There's a famous Gemara. The Gemara says that in this world, what does it mean by Yemu Yeh Hashem Echad Shmei Echad? Mashiach will come, Hashem will be one, His name will be one. So the Gemara says, Atu Idna Lash Mayach, the Abish's name not one now. So it's explained that now when it comes to good things you you it's Atoiva Mate, you thank Hashem. For negative things you say uh Barakh Tainanus. Sheikh will come will be Akha, you'll thank it'll be the same you the same way you'll see the good and the good, you'll see the good and the negative. I mean that's one of the beauty of what the Gemara what the Gemara means. Um so so this is Again, it's just one Indian. I just wanted to maybe discuss from a human, so to say, perspective. I mean, speaking about bitul ayetzer hara. I mean, if you're going to use, let's say, you go to a not from a crowd, and they're going to use this term. 
Um, so the Yetzirah will be taken away versus the Achim Hoistach and what it means. I mean, the Yetzirah point. So again, like I mentioned, yes, there is a Musa, the Yetzirah is a powerful thing that's outside of you that's trying to force you to do evils. But then there's also talking about the human struggle that a person has with Taito Mitzvahs from Sheikh Hukam, that struggle won't exist because it will be then open with Zan Boyfriend, border how this is Toy, the Abisha really loves us.